Hello everyone, my name is Mao Xing and from East China Normal University. It's my honor to be here to share our work. The title of my paper is Boosting the Speed of Entity Alignment 10 Times to Attention Matching Network with Normalized Hard Sample Mining. The first thing we should know is what is entity alignment. Entity alignment is an emerging subtask of knowledge graph. It aims to identify equivalent entity pairs from different knowledge graphs, which is essential in integrating multi-source knowledge graphs. With more and more knowledge graphs emerging, integrating multi-source knowledge graphs become more necessary and beneficial to not only complement information but also improve downstream tasks such as recommendation system and search engine. Therefore, this task attracts increasing attention in recent years. Existing entity alignment methods can be divided into two main categories. The first one is translation-based. This method use translation-based knowledge graph in embedding models, such as TransE, on every single knowledge graph to get its embeddings of entities and relations, and then align entities from two vector space from into one unified. The second types is graph neural network based inspired by Siemens neural networks, which are widely used in computer vision. A typical architecture of graph neural network-based methods consists of two multi-layer graph neural networks with a contrastive loss or triplet loss. In addition, this entity alignment method can also be divided into the three is three categories, depending on the information they used. However, preview entity alignment methods are efficient and point scalability. As summarized in this figure, most of them require several hours on a small data site. With the scale further expense, some of them even take days. With the scale Obviously, the high cost in time hinders the feasibility of applying this entity alignment method to large-scale data sites. We believe there are two main reasons that cause the high time complexity. One is the over-complex graph encoder. Every time a complex technical is introduced in entity alignment, for example, joint learning and graph matching networks. The time complexity is dramatically increased. The second reason is the efficient negative sampling strategy. To obtain high quality high negative samples, many methods choose to rank all entities and find the key nearest as the neg negative samples, which requires massive time cost. To address these challenges, we propose dual attention matching network. This figure depicts the dual attention matching network is composed of two major components. One is simplified relational attention layer to capture intra-graph information and proxy matching attention layer to capture cross-graph information. The simplified relational attention layer captures relational information within each knowledge graph by generating relation-specific embeddings through relational attention and uh, relational reflection transformation. And then, to create a more global aware representation of the graph. 
we stacking we stack the outputs from each layer together. The graph matching networks have been proven to be effective in many tasks. It builds a cross graph attention mechanism to learn global similarities. Such node to node interaction enforces the embeddings to be learned jointly on a pair. And the cost of massive extra computation efficiency. Driven by similar motivation, we propose a proxy matching attention layer. As shown in this figure, we employ a limited size of proxy vectors to represent the cross graph alignment relation, similar to use anchor points to represent a space. In this way, the proposed layer is able to capture the cross graph alignment information without computing node to node interaction. Finally, we employ a gate mechanism to combine the output features from two layers, controlling the information flow between single graph and multiple graphs. In addition to the model improvements, we also propose a new loss function. In the field of deep metric learning, some studies propose to use log sum exp in operation to smoothly generate hard negative samples. When lambda is set to an appropriate value, log sum exp could replace the key nearest sampling strings to generate high quality negative samples, but with better computational efficiency. However, picking out a suitable lambda is not easy. If lambda is set too large, the weights of samples are greatly affected by the random distributions at the beginning of the training. On the other hand, if lambda is too small, it would be difficult for the model to pick up hard samples in the later stage, which causes model degradation. Inspired by batch normalization, which reduces the internal covariate shift, we propose to use normalization step that fix the mean and variance of simple losses and reduce the dependence on the scale of the hyperparameter lambda. For experiment setting, in order to make the comparison with previous method reliable and fair, we experiment on three widely used open source datasets. And the baselines are divided into three categories according to the data type they used. The experimental results show that our model is ranked consistently as the best across all real-world data sites and outperform the state-of-art methods from 6% to 13% on hit at 1. We believe that dual attention matching network effect effectively captures the, the rich structural information of these data sites. Better performance is just the cherry on the cake. Dual attention matching network strap, strap card is superior efficiency. This table reports the overall time cost of existing entity alignment methods. Obviously, the efficiency of dual attention matching network far exceeds the competitors. The time cost of complex entity alignment methods are tens or even hundreds of time more than that of our methods. Even using the semi-supervised strategy for data augmentation, the proposed method still could obtain results within an hour. In summary, the high efficiency of dual attention matching network makes the entity alignment application on large-scale knowledge graphs possible. In addition, we also carry ablation experiments to demonstrate that our each designs of the proposed model are useful. 
As the last, our contributions can be summarized in his three aspects. For model, we propose a novel graph encoder that only models both intragraph and cross-graph relations smartly, but also greatly reduces computational complexity. For training, we propose a, a normalized simple mining laws, which dramatically cuts down the sampling consumption and uh, accelerates the carriage's speed of the model. For experiments, the experimental results indicate that our method has high efficiency and each of the components are effective. That's all. Thank you for your attention.